Hello everybody, welcome back. Another Groat today, another review, another guitar review. Um, this time it is a Strat style guitar, as opposed to the uh, bevy of Tellys that I've uh, been reviewing. So I'm sticking uh, true to form with Groat, um, looking at all their extremely budget friendly guitars and uh, reviewing them. So uh, this one came up on Amazon and it was something that I again couldn't couldn't pass up on. Uh, it was uh, normally I think ninety dollars or ninety ninety nine then they had a uh, you know sale for eighty dollars and ninety nine cents and then they had a special ten dollar off coupon uh, for prime members so uh, I got it for seventy dollars and ninety nine cents plus uh, plus tax free shipping so that's uh, that's an offer I can't refuse type of deal so uh, I picked it up and uh, just thought I'd give you a first impression of uh, what I think of the guitar. So this literally came fresh out of the box. Now I'll tell you uh, a negative right out of the chute. So Amazon uh, delivered this yesterday and it was a quick delivery. Um, I ordered it I believe uh, two days before. It came very fast. But when I checked the um, tracking in the morning it was a USPS uh, Postal Service tracking number. And the tracking number gave a different date, said that this thing wasn't going to be delivered until Wednesday. And I'm thinking, okay, that kind of makes sense because yesterday, for those of you that are not familiar, uh, in, the, in the Northeast, we had extremely bad weather, tropical storms and, you know, torrential rains. So it would make sense that they might have pushed off the delivery until, you know, better weather. So I thought nothing of it. I uh, happened to go out last night after the storm uh, had subsided a bit. The sun actually came out for a bit. And I noticed on the stoop, there's a box. This thing was delivered and left on my stoop in a torrential rainstorm. <laughs> and, the, and the carrier, USPS, failed to even ring the doorbell or knock on the door to let me know that I had a delivery. They just left it out in the stoop to get drenched and sopping wet in the rain. I also have plenty of spots in my driveway where you could have left the box under an eave so it wouldn't have gotten, uh, you know, poured rain on. So I called up Amazon and complained and, and they put me in touch with USPS and asked me if I wanted to file a grievance against or a complaint against the driver. And I said, yeah, I do. This is not something that, uh, uh, you know, common sense would dictate, right? So uh, I got through that. Amazon was very good about it. They took care of me. And... Um, and I was lucky enough that this thing ex escaped any sort of major damage. You know, it, the box was saturated. Um, so that's the, that's the first thing. Uh, Amazon should really think twice about using the United States Postal Service to deliver stuff because uh, it's always a crapshoot with them. I mean, FedEx and UPS are not necessarily the best in the world, but I think um, the packages that I've had delivered during storms with UPS, they've always either rang my doorbell or put the, put the box in a, in a spot where it wasn't going to get saturated. So, uh, in any event, that's that. So, what do we have here? We have a Strat-style guitar. Uh -huh. This is the front of the guitar. It's got a really, really nice photo flame top on it. Um, and that's, you know, to be expected at $80, right? You're not going to get a veneer at 80, at 80 bucks. But, I mean, it's really well done. It, it, it is, if, you know, to the untrained eye, you would think this is a real flamed top on this guitar. Gorgeous, gorgeous finish. Um, and the color is a very dark red, right? And it's got a black border around it at, at, the, at the very edges. Um, dark red with this, you know, blackish flame on the guitar. Gorgeous. Um, the other thing... Uh, the tellies that come with these photo finish tops tend to look like Formica to me. I think I've mentioned that in a couple of videos. They look very, uh, they, they do not look real. They almost look plastic-like. This thing, on this particular model, is just unbelievable. Really is unbelievable to finish. So, what do we have? Typical Strat. Volume, two tones. Five-way switch, which is feels very, very good. Um, the bridge on it is, you know, again, to be expected for an $80 guitar, cheap metal, pot metal, um, set very flat 
against the guitar, so there is no uh, floating bridge on this thing. You'd have to adjust from the back the springs if you want to set the tremolo up to, to more of a, of a floating type bridge. These are cheap, inexpensive single coil pickups, ceramic pickups, um, three singles. The pick guard is a white, plain white pick guard, three ply. Here's your input jack, typical strat location. And uh, what's described by the manufacturer as a Canadian maple neck and fretboard. And here you can see, here's the, the headstock. It's the new groat shape. And it just has groat in gold on it this time. The tellies that I bought, um, lower end, don't have, they, some of them have black, some of them have gold. So I don't know if this thing is like a uh, Squire thing where the gold uh, lettering makes the guitar a little bit better. <laughs> you know, if you notice some of the bullets in the older days had Squire in gold versus Squire in black. One was made in Indonesia, one was made in China. The gold had a little bit better quality to it. it I don't know if that has anything to do with this, but it's funny that it, it, is, it is in gold on this particular model. Um, very cheap plastic nut on this guitar. And I don't know if, how well you can see this, so I'm going to put it by the camera. But um, if you can see that, the nut is cut very poorly, very poorly um, on both sides. So I usually don't have that problem with groats, but on this particular one, uh, the nut is cut a little poorly. Um, but in, the, in, in terms of the slots, the slots seem to be okay and the string alignment seems to be okay. Um, the setup out of the box. So first we'll look at string height. And string height on here, if you can see it, is okay. Again, not super low and certainly not unacceptably high, but could be lower. So I'm gonna have to adjust the action initially on here, but I'm going to first take off the strings altogether and then do it because these strings, the stock strings that come with the guitar are absolute garbage, right? Which again, can be expected for an $80 guitar. Um, the fret ends. On this one, I did not, I wasn't as lucky as the other uh, Grote experience, uh, experiences that I've had. So the fret ends on here are sharp. Not super sharp where I'm going to, you know, slice my finger uh, or, or my palm, running it across the bottom of the guitar and top of the guitar. But you can feel the fret ends extending, and some of them, you know, are a little sharp on, on the edges. So these have to be tended to, um, which, again, I, I really have been lucky. haven't had that much of a problem. But, again, you know, with a little bit of uh, sandpaper <laughs> for an $80 guitar, you don't mind taking a foam sand sanding tool and just running it up and down the fretboard uh, on the edges, and that'll take care of these sharp fret ends without much, uh, much effort. So $80, I'm not going to complain about that. Um, the nice thing about the guitar, again, aside from the fact that it's a beautiful flame, um, photo flame finish on here, is if you can see the wood on the neck, it's almost figured. Uh, I don't know if that comes across in the camera, but a beautiful grain and figuring on the back of the neck, and even on the sides of the neck. And again, I apologize if it's not coming out on the camera as clear as uh, it should. But I'm very impressed with uh, <laughs> the wood on the back, even on the back of the headstock, if you can see. It has a beautiful grain to it. Um, the fretboard itself is extremely dry and gritty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm running my fingers up and down this thing, and it's like, it's like running it on a, a sanded track. Um, this will need a lot of time to, to, to work in with your finger oils, natural finger oils, to, to work into this thing to make it, you know, more palatable. But right now it's extremely dry. So again, negatives right out of the chute are uh, sharp fret ends and the fretboard being extremely dry. But these things, again, can be taken care of uh, without much problem. Um, what else do we have to talk about? Oh, body wood. The wood on this thing is a wood I've never heard of. It's, it's a first for me, and it's Phoenix. It's described on the uh, Amazon website. Phoenix wood. So I'm assuming that it's trees that have been burned down and that have risen from the ashes and guitars have been... I'm just kidding you. I, I don't know what Phoenix wood is. I, I tried looking, looking it up 
on Google, and uh, the best I can tell, it's similar to Polonia. It is uh, some Asian wood, and it's extremely um, light. So this guitar is, is, is a great weight. I would say it's probably maybe five and a half, six pounds. So it's a nice uh, light body. Um, this has uh, 22 frets on the guitar. And uh, the tuners on here are your typical inexpensive budget sealed tuners, but extremely inexpensive tuners. Um, initial impression on the tuners and playing it just for a sh very short period of time, they seem to work. They, they don't seem to pop and slip too much. So I think they're okay. Um, you know, but uh, obviously if you're a... Uh, someone that's going to, you know, play with this, play out with this guitar anyway, you're going to obviously want to replace the tuners and the nut, definitely, and probably these ceramic pickups at a minimum. And then you probably can gut and mod this thing any way you want. These guitars are a phenomenal platform for modding, uh, because especially with a body like this, it's just a great-looking, inexpensive guitar with, a, you know, with some uh, cheap fixes. You can get some, you know, Better tuners for not much money on Amazon or eBay, and similarly better single coil pickups and a nut. You, you know you're good to go, and you'll have a really nice player for for very very short money. Um, this guitar came shipped with. We'll go over this, which is you know your truss rod, your tremolo bar, and a very inexpensive, probably disposable uh, cord, guitar cord. Um, also in that bag are, I think, two picks. And this, again, disposable, very cheap um, strap, guitar strap. It it's, feels like it's made out of uh, paper, but uh, again, it's free. And it also ships with this gig bag, which is not your typical um, Grote gig bag. This is definitely one of those, you know, very, very flimsy nylon bags that uh, are okay just to keep the guitar from getting dirt on it and dust on it and whatever else. But, you know, certainly if you're putting your guitar in there and you're going anywhere, traveling anywhere, and you bang it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to dent in that bag because there is no protection whatsoever. But again, it's free. So those are the things that uh, ship with the guitar. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a nice-looking... Um, inexpensive way to get into either a, uh, a guitar for your first uh, experience for a child uh, to learn on uh, as I mentioned earlier modding um, for, for you know virtually ridiculously low money I don't know how they how this brand growth can ship something out for so inexpensive and yet have an actual guitar an actual playable instrument so I'm gonna take a short break and then I'll be back I'll plug it into my a small little amp um, you're not going to get any real true indication of sounds from this thing on, on the small amp, nor the audio coming out of my um, setup here, but at least you'll be able to hear what this thing sounds like plugged into an amp from uh, the various pickup settings. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So um, got the guitar connected now to a very, very small little portable amp. Um, uh, I'm going to play now the um, neck pickup, just the neck pickup on the guitar. So that's the neck pickup. Now in the second position I'm playing the neck and the middle pickup. And now just the middle pickup. Now in the fourth position, it's the middle and the bridge. And now finally, just the bridge pickup. And now we'll uh, put on a little bit of uh, dirt on the guitar. Again, that's just the uh, 
neck pickup, neck and middle. And now just the middle position. Middle in the uh, bridge. And then finally just the bridge position. Okay, so that was a real crappy audio uh, test of the guitar, just to give you a feel for what the pickups sound like. These pickups, again, uh, you can't really hear clearly through the uh, through my system or sound setup, but there's not a hell of a lot of articulation um, between the various settings on you. You're definitely going to have a thinner setting, obviously, in the uh, in the bridge position than you do in the neck, um, but there's not a whole lot of uh, uh, of richness and tonality from these pickups. They're cheap and expensive ceramic pickups. They'll get the job done for, again, for somebody that's learning, for somebody that, like me that's a hobbyist, for somebody that's a beginner, for somebody that um, you're buying this for as a first guitar, these pickups will be more than sufficient, you know, just to get them through that period. But uh, again, if you're, a, uh, if you're using it for recording or you're uh, a musician that plays out in pubs, clubs, whatever the case is, first thing you're gonna do is put better pickups in, into this guitar and you'll have a much, much better experience. So that's the group, um, Strat style with the photo flame top. Uh, I'll give it a uh, seven out of 10. I think it's a good guitar. I think it's a great beginner platform and a great value right now on Amazon at $80.99. While I have these for $80.99, I grab them because, uh, you know, uh, Squires have gone up in price. I think the Squire bullets now, believe it or not, over $200. It's ridiculous. And, uh, you know, for what you're getting for this, for this short dollars and, and small amount of money is, is really incredible. So any questions, guys, fire them below. As always, I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. If you find these reviews helpful uh, and you want to see more, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, until the next time, be well, stay safe.